I'm Adam Scamhorn. I've been with Blue Lock for about three and a half years working on disaster recovery implementations, planning, and uh, DR tests. One of the biggest things we get as far as questions when we're talking about data protection is if I already have backups, why do I need disaster recovery? And if I already have disaster recovery purchased from you, why do I need backups? I want to talk to you for a real quick time about the two different offerings, why they're different, and why they're both important to protect your data. Disaster recovery as a service focuses entirely on a short recovery point objective, meaning that the data we're restoring from is as close to now as possible with an RTO within four hours, and it's going to bring the machines up in a geographically different source protected from whatever's happened to your data in the original spot that that was running in. Backups has multiple checkpoints going back in time up to a year, depending on your retention policy. The recovery time is always going to be based on the size of the machine or of the data, but you're able to bring a single file or a single VM back up from any of those checkpoints into the same location as where the machines were already running. Biggest thing to think about with the two is both your time and where the data is actually being restored from. So again, if I'm running a business, I need to think about my resiliency strategy of both having archival data and the ability to protect myself from downtime with disaster recovery as a service. They both work together to protect my business and to protect my revenue flow. Thanks for watching.